Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody before we get into your reading I just want to um, repeat the winning names uh, the winners of the giveaway okay because there's several of you who haven't um, gotten back to me with an with an address um, so that I can send you your prize so I just want to repeat it again okay in case you missed um, the video on that all right. Um, the lucky elephant, the winner for the lucky elephant is Sonia Lopez 5831. Sonia Lopez 5831. Um, the person who won the singing bowl, um, the singing bowl went out to Chad Mike D. Chad Mike D, congratulations. Um, the winner of the pendulum set is Angela. Terry 6501, Angela Terry 6501. The winner of the smudge cleaning, uh, home cleansing kit. Um, that the smudge kit is the um, is Angela Ali. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having I'm got tongue tied on that one. The winner of the smudge kit is Angela Ali 366. Angela Ali 366. Um, the winner of the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck is Val Mayo 3506. Val Mayo 3506. The winner of the Cat Tarot is Divine Newbie 4N. Divine Newbie 4N. Um, the winner of the Light Seers Tarot is Heather 65, or sorry, Heather 6758. Heather, 6758. So congratulations, everybody. You're the lucky winners in the giveaway. Um, but there's a few of you who still need to get me your ad um, or any address that I can send you your prize to. So all you have to do is email me an address. My email is lumenmoontaro at gmail.com. Okay. Um, any address that I can send that gift to. Okay. And congratulations, everybody. Um, thank you for participating in the giveaway. I love everybody out here. Um, and um, yeah, this reading is for the collective. Um, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And again, thank you, all of you. I love you guys. This is the best soul tribe, I think, out here. Okay. So thank you all for being so awesome to me. All right, so Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective? And there's thunder cracking in the background. Okay, coming to life. Somebody's about to come back around. I feel like there's a runner who's going to turn into the chaser here. Defend to the end the worthwhile. But you know what? You're on the defense when it comes to this person. Um They've made you cry a million tears. This person puts you through a lot of heartache and betrayal. Uh, they're coming back in. They've been watching you too, spying on you, possibly wanting to know kind of everything that you've got going on in your life, okay? They want to know who you're talking to, who you're spending your time with. Do you have anybody? Um, I feel like this person wants to see you. They want to see you face to face. They may even bump into you somewhere. And you're going to be instantly on the defense because this person has really hurt you so bad. It's almost like you're, you're, um, this person's looking for you everywhere they go. Okay. But then I'm seeing this owl in the background. Any, everywhere you go, you're on the lookout for this person as well. They're wanting to bump into you. You're wanting to avoid them because you don't want to feel the way that, um, they made you feel before. Okay. You don't want to ever experience that pain again. Yeah. This is coming to an end. Um, and you're kind of possibly hoping you don't bump into this person because they put you out in the cold. They treated you like nothing. They turned their back on you. It could have been up to three years or longer that you haven't spoken to them. They acted like they didn't care. They were extremely selfish with you. You could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, heavy on Scorpio. I feel like you just want this over. You're, you don't want to. You don't want to give them their your time, attention, nothing. 
I feel like they are about to see you or you're about to bump into this person out in public or something. This person could have fought with you a lot or they may even want to start some kind of argument or something like that to get you to talk to them because you're not paying any attention to them. You're going to defend yourself. You're going to protect yourself against this person. Yeah, they're feeling like a fool now, see. They see you in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, they want you back because you're grounded, you're stable. You could have been married to this person in the past and they could have been cheating on you. Um, you not necessarily, though. You don't, I mean, you're in Queen of Pentacles energy right now. You're wifey material whether you were married to this person or not yeah i feel like you know what they manipulate you they I, I feel like this person wants you to feel like you need them for something but you don't i'm getting the sense that this person's going to see you out and you're going to be looking really good okay you're um I don't know. They're seeing you as somebody who has a lot of money, maybe. Someone who's, who's very financially secure. And they're going to be, I mean, this is going to trigger this person. I feel like they're instantly going to feel jealous or something like that. They may want to start some kind of argument with you. They want you to think that they're doing better than you, but this person isn't. I feel like you're very grounded, stable, and um, they're, it just feels like they're off balance, okay? But they want you to think that they're better than you for some reason. Or they want to try to flex on you for something. Yeah, but in all actuality, see, they want you to think that they're in the Six of Wands energy where they're, they've got their life together, right? Everything is going really well for them. They're doing better. They're on the high gr higher ground, okay? They're above you somehow. But in, it, it, deep down inside, this person's in misery because they know they, less, they lost out on a blessing. You know, they're kicking themselves. You know, I feel like this is one of those things where they see you out, okay, and they're not expecting the reaction that you give them. You're not giving them any of your um, emotions. You don't want to give them any attention. If you say anything to this person, it's going to be really short to the point, and then you're going you're gonna to keep it moving because you don't want to have anything to do with this person, okay? And they're going to be like, all right, then, you know, um, they're going to be like thinking it doesn't, trying to act like it doesn't bother them or trying to act like they're better than you somehow. They may even laugh as they walk away, something like that. But when, when they get to their car and reality sits, sinks in, this person's going to be sitting there crying in their car over you, okay, because of how you react to them. You don't want to give them any of your time, attention, affection, nothing. And if you speak to them, it's going to be like pleasantries, like, you know, um, thank you, no thank you, and goodbye and have a nice day. It's going to be that quick, okay? They are not going to like that. They're going to be watching you, watching you probably from their car in a lot of regret as you walk away. You know, as you leave them behind. Because they know after this, they're not going to get another opportunity to talk to you. I, I kind of feel like this person goes to their car, they sit there, they cry, and they watch you um, leave them behind. This will probably be the last opportunity they get to see you, maybe. Yeah, look, and th there goes all that pain, realizing that was it. That was it. You don't, you don't feel the same way about them anymore. You barely say two words to them. You know, you're pleasant. They don't have any way to um, criticize you for anything. 
and you just you you know you just don't want to have anything to do with them yeah they're as they watch you saunter to your car they're going to be crying from theirs i picked up on that feeling the other day you guys i was leaving the health club right i was i was spending time at the pool yeah look crashing tower moment and as i walked through the parking lot um i could feel that somebody was there you know like uh watching me walk to my car and i honestly sure enough somebody that i knew that i'm actually fairly close to was um had just gotten in the parking lot but like i didn't realize that but like you may feel it you may you may know this person is watching you from their car okay they're going to be watching you from from their car crying having that tower moment because they will never see you again they'll never have to deal with you you know you'll never have to deal with them again they'll never have this opportunity with you again to talk to you that's it you could be moving away as well they may they may find that out oh yeah this is going to crush them because they're not expecting your reaction. It's almost as if you're acting like you don't really know them that well. And um, you really just don't want to deal with them at all. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this person may even, for some reason, I'm just getting the sense you're going to get a text message afterwards. You're going to get a text message later on in the day after you see this person, right? A few hours later or during the evening hours. This person is going to send you some kind of text message saying it was really good to see you again. You're looking so well. I want you to know how, how much, how painful it was for me to watch you leave. Um, I, I, um, I want another chance maybe to um, see you again, that kind of thing. They're going to text you later on that day. Whatever day this week you see this person, okay? Because they're not going to want to accept that this is their last opportunity to talk to you. They're not going to want to accept that you're leaving them behind, that now they're just somebody that you used to know, Okay? They're not going to want this to be over. Like, this person's going to be crying. Um, the second they hit their car, right? The second they get in their car, they're going to start crying. They're going to be crying all night. Yep, broken hearted. Look at that. Broken hearted because this is over. Yep, they're not going to get another chance. They're not going to get another chance, and this is over. That door is shut. It's the end to a cycle. You're not going to be speaking to them again. Okay, you don't want to see them. You don't want to talk to them. This is kind of like hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, right? They're going to be really brokenhearted because you're not going to return their message. You may even just block them. This is their last ditch effort. <sighs> you know, it's like an act of desperation. And no, you're not going to be speaking to them. So, yeah, I feel like after this, they'll never see you again. You know, you're going to be turning your nose up at this person. Um, I feel like you're not going to be mean or harsh or anything, okay, like that. You're going to be, uh, you're going to be cordial. But this person's going to know that um, it's over. After this, they're going to know it's over. Oh, they're going to be stuck in their head about this for a long time. Longing for this earth angel. Remembering the last time that they saw you. How you looked beautiful. You know, and you do. You look stunningly beautiful. They're going to have that, that moment in their head now for the rest of their life. You know, and it, it, I mean... Maybe they don't, uh, they don't handle it well. You know what I mean? Maybe they, they just, or it's either they trip themselves up during this communication or you just don't want to have anything to do with them anymore, period. Okay. 
I feel like you're. It, this isn't going to bother you. You're going to be able to sweep this out after this. You are. I feel like you're not going to be losing any sleep at night over this, but they are. They're not going to be able to sleep. They're going to be crying, remembering you, thinking about you. Yeah, you're going to feel very blessed, very chill. You're going to be peaceful, calm. You know, it's going to be like, oh, it's going to be like one of those, guess who I saw, saw today? Yeah, and then you're going to be changing the subject. Like, it's going to be... It's going to be something that you'll have to confront this person or you'll see them or they'll see you. But then after that, all of this will be gone. Like all of it will be, you'll be healed from this after this. So it's just like a final confrontation. Yeah. See this never ending story. Yep. You'll be able to release it. You'll be able to release it after this. When you see this person out, um, I feel like you're going to bump into them somewhere in public. OK, and when you see them out instantly, I mean, I feel like there's going to be something different about the way that they look. You're instantly going to feel different about this person like you just don't want to deal with them any anymore. You don't want the sadness. You don't want the baggage. You're going to be able to release it after this. OK, but they'll never be able to um, get over you. Oh, no, they'll never be able to get over you. Anyway, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join this awesome soul tribe, and until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.